Hello YouTube, Lost Tourist here. So what I've got today is a response to some questions I've been getting online about uh, how I carry my drone. This specifically goes out to Davidson, who's been sending me messages and flooding my emails. But anyway, so this is what I do to uh, use to carry the drone that I have. You're asking how I carry it on my motorcycle. And what I have here is the DJI uh, backpack. It's a hard shell backpack, which offers uh, protection for the drone. It's got a carry handle like this if you want to just carry it like this. And of course, it's got backpack straps. And at the back, you've also got padding so that uh, it's uh, comfortable on you. And also, this is all made of like a sturdy kind of uh, plastic shell. It's got some really nice details. As you can see here, it even has uh, the zippers have the DJI logo on it. And on the back... It's uh, got a really nice finish to it. It looks like I've got a few scratches there already. What? Anyway, these four here, that those are the feet. So to open this up, inside is how the DJI Phantom is held. And there's a spot for everything here. So you got your spot here for your radio. The Phantom itself, it's got actually three spots for batteries. One, two, three. So I could carry three batteries and one in the drone at the same time. That would make four if I got it, if I got the four. And as you can see inside, everything is slotted out perfectly so that it holds the equipment uh, safely. Now, I noticed on one form there was some people confused of how they actually fit the radio in. They couldn't get the radio in here. But this is how it looks. This is how you put the radio in. I guess some people are having issues with this uh, phone holder, the tablet holder, how it fit in there. But that's how it is. It goes back in there. And this antenna is facing down. And you just guide it in. And it's perfectly fit like that so it's got a space for uh, it's got space for your for everything that you need with your drone it's got the space for the charger cords the batteries as I said propellers extra propellers and whatever else the little things you have like SD card holders that sort of thing Basically, but it doesn't have a spot for your tablet if you are using a tablet. It also does have, um, as you can see, the drone fits there perfectly protected. It also has this uh, strap here to keep it there secure as well. And as you can see, on the, even on the back side, it's also got the molded uh, foam protection. And it just shuts in there, fits perfectly. One thing I really like about this, well, there's a few things I really like about it, but uh, this does fit in your overhead compartment in the plane, and it makes it really easy to carry the drone wherever you want to go. Hop on your motorcycle, your bicycle, whatever it is, hit the trails, go for a walk, fly your Phantom. I was considering one of those other cases, like a suitcase style, but... I mean, those kind of look cool, but really for practicality, this is the way to go if you're going to be looking for a case. So I hope that answers your question, Davidson. This is the DGI Phantom backpack, and this is Lost Tourist. Thank you for watching. <laughs> We're going to giggle now. Yes. <laughs> okay, get it all out. Okay, so... <laughs> This is for Davidson. Hey YouTube, this is for, this video I'm going to do is for, oh, sorry, let's do it again. Let's just use my phone instead. Okay. Okay. Because I don't know if it's recording. <laughs> Here we go again. Here we go again. Hey 
Hey YouTube, Lost Tourist here. It's the text, it's actually, that's how you, you, that you didn't know that. <laughs> anyway, that's what those are for. And then, the, it's got a carry handle it, like this. It, is it still recording? Yeah, as far as I know. Why? <laughs> here we go again. <laughs> We're gonna giggle now. Yes. <laughs> 